Hi, good evening everybody. Hello, hello people. Hi teacher. Hi, good evening teacher. Good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome, welcome. My background is the same, I'll be the table again. Let me fix it. <laughs> Here we go. Nope. Nope. That's not what I want. There you go. Better, better, better. All right. How are you guys? Tell me, how are you? How are you? Happy. <laughs> Why are you happy? I'm curious. <laughs> because it is uh, today. Is, it's Wednesday, not Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, it's not Friday. Why are you happy? Because we finished the model. Ah, that's why, right? <laughs> yeah. Of course, of course, exactly, exactly. Yes, people, excellent. We have we have come to this. We have come this far. Okay, we are done, lejos. And uh, today is the last day. Okay, hoy es último día. Let me tell you that we have the time for the survey. The survey is going to start this, uh, at survey. Start at 8.45, okay? 8.45 p.m. we start with the survey, all right? Iniciamos la encuesta a las 8 y 45, okay? Yes, o quizás un poco más antes que esa hora, okay? Un aproximado sería de las 8 y media a 8.45, okay? Para la... Yes. Voy a estar un ratito de oyente, pero voy a estar pendiente ahí de todo, la encuesta y de todo, todo. Okay, Eduardo, no problem, all right? It's okay, it's okay, fine. Thank you for, for letting me know, yes. All right, people, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, yes. Let me take attendance, paso asistencia. <clears throat> Let, let's do this in this moment. Hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People, remember, you have to work on the platform, okay? You have to finish the platform today, yes today or tomorrow morning, but I do not recommend tomorrow. I recommend- Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Thank you for being here, Vladimir. Good to have you here again. Okay, let me take attendance, everybody. Let's start with uh, Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. No, okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Welcome, Carlos. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Cecilia Rimeji Barsoto. Present teacher. Hello, Cecilia. Thank you for being here. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. Daisy? No. Okay, she's not here yet. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present teacher. Yes, Eduardo. Thank you, Eduardo. Thank you for being here. Emerson Ulises Monroy Galix. Present teacher. Hello, Emerson. Thank you, Emerson, for being here. Good to have you again. Francisco Sanchez Lopez. Francisco is not here. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present teacher. Hi, Imelda. Thank you for being here. Hi. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro, Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Thank you for being here. Uh, okay. Jose, Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. No. Jose Bernardo, Bernardo Lopez Montes. No, not here yet. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. No, Jose today. <laughs> All right. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enriquez. Present. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Hello, Luis. Thank you for being here. Neftali Humberto Ramirez Ramos. Here. 
Hello, Lejoli, thank you for being here. Sí. Oscar Noé Magaña. Sí. Martínez. Oscar? No, right. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Hi, Sara, thank you for being here. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Hi, thank you for being here. Yancy Olivares Raimundo. No, okay. Carla Unice Hernández Sotelo. Eugenia, sorry. <laughs> Present Pardon. teacher. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present teacher. Yes. Hello, Carlos. Thank you for being here. Karen Janet Granados, Orellana. Present. Hi, Karen. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. No, 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 no se ve, así que no, no puedo decir good to see you. <laughs> uh, Bernardo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good Hi. Evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Ok, uh, recordarles una vez más, la encuesta la iniciamos a las 4, a las, perdón, a las 4, a las 8.45, ok. Posiblemente uh, unos minutos antes de esa hora, ok, así que estemos listos con el link. El link ha sido compartido a ustedes por WhatsApp, por el grupo o individual y también por el correo electrónico, así que hay varias opciones, ok. Yes, very good. All right, we're going to start, we're going to start right now, we got... A few things to do, okay? Hay unas cosas que hacer este día. Okay, yes. Uh, si repentinamente apago la cámara o el micrófono es porque tengo acá a, a mi hijo a la par y está dormido, recuerda que se despierte llorando, entonces, okay, yes. Just in case, okay? Pero le informo que posiblemente pase eso. Yes, all right, very good. We're gonna start, we're gonna start right now and let's do this. Here, here we go. All right, it says here on page number 47, people, page number 47. All right, page number 47. We're gonna find, we're gonna see this paragraph. Ahí veremos este párrafo, okay, en la página 47. Okay, page number 47. It says company procedures and policies, okay. This is the last class, people. Es la última clase. Gracias a todos por estar acá. Bienvenidos. Okay, y goodbye también, ya casi. <laughs> y goodbye forever, para siempre. No, no, no. <laughs> no. All right. Relax, relax. All right, all right. Yes, we're going to continue. Now, look at this. Read the following article about policy and procedure. This here, policy and procedure. Write policy or procedure in the blanks. Okay, after the, after the paragraphs, después de los párrafos, hay un ejercicio uh, abajo, entonces, luego explicamos cómo haríamos. Okay, it says here, what is a policy? Guys, what is a policy? Let me see. I'm going to ask a person. Xiomara, what is a policy? What is a policy? Xiomara, what's a policy? Policy. No, para, explain to me that in, in, in English, please. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> Javier, what about you? What do you think? Me, me, me fue un rato, disculpe, teacher. No, no, the question, it's the question, it's the question. What is a policy? What is ah, a okay. policy? Policy, las políticas de la empresa. Yeah, oh. but, but tell me in English, please. Que lea el párrafo. No, no. Explain to me what a policy is. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And the policy is the, the rules or procedures of the of the company for for the employees. 
Okay. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Yes. Yes, I can hear. I'm sorry. Okay, let me continue here. I'm going to read the paragraph. So listen, listen to the pronunciation. Okay, escuchemos la pronunciación en el primer párrafo. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined, people, predetermined, all right? Predetermined course of action. Course of action which is established to provide a guide to work accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify their key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. All right. Is there a word people from the, from the, from the paragraph that you don't understand? Boundaries, boundaries. Fronteras. Fronteras. Fronteras, yes. Okay. Forward. To work. Sorry? Guide to work. Work. Guide to work. To provide a guide to work. Una guía, Asia. Asia. Objetivos y estrategias. De negocios aceptadas. Guía, tower es Asia. Ok. Y guide es guiar o guía. Yes. What else, people? Guys, what else? Attempt. Attempt. Intentar. Try. Attempt is try. Intentar. Ok. Overcome. Overcome. Vencer. Okay. Yes. Uh, Which one, sorry? Adil. Uh, repeat, please. Uh, handle. Uh, no sé cómo se dice. Handle. Uh, handle. Handle. Lidiar. Mm. Yes. Okay, dice en cómo lidiar los problemas que, que surgen. Okay. Mm. Yes, eso es handle. También handle es el agarradero de una casa, ¿ok? Thank you. What else, people? ¿Qué más? Features. Or pronunciation. Which one, Bernardo? Features. Features. Character, characteristics. Characteristics, ¿ok? ¿Dónde está esa pictures? No, 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 no la veo. Last uh, night. Oh, here. Pictures, yes. Características. ¿Ok? Rasgos. Yes, that's what it is. What else? You can ask me about the pronunciation too of, of some words. No, we're good. Okay, I'm going to read again slowly this time. So listen to the words that you find difficult. Okay, escuchemos las palabras que ustedes ven difícil o les parecen difíciles. Okay, a policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision-making makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is, this is accomplished by providing the reader with limits 
and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. Guys, what is Mount Ranges? What is Mount Ranges? I don't know. I'm sorry? Como rangos, como márgenes. Márgenes? Sí, como... Como un área limitada. Ok. Es un, como un grupo de montaña, ok. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, very good, very good. Uh, well, I need a volunteer to read, please. Hi. Anybody? Ok, Karen is going to read. Karen, read, please. Okay. Uh, what is the pronunciation of predeterminate? As it is. Pre, pre, predetermined. Predetermined. Okay. No, no. A policy is a predetermined course of action, which is uh, establishes to provide a guide toward a set business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization, vision, and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. 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 So this okay. is accomplished by Providing the reader, providing, read, providing the read, the reader with limited and choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of, of police, policies. As a, policies as a glove where national boundaries, oceans, Multi grinders and other major factories Pictures. are easily identified. Are easily identified. Uh, easily identified. Policies, okay, policies, not policies. Policies. Okay, policies. This is and mountain rangers. No, mountain ranges. Mount ranges. Ranges. Mount rangers. Okay, and providing over here, providing. Okay. Okay, thank you, Karen, for. For reading, yes. Just give me, give me, give me one moment. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to do something really quickly. Okay, let me see one more person, one more person. Luis, please help us. Yes. Okay. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide to our accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's visions and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategies. Strategy. So decision makers, sorry? Strategy, strategy, strategy. Okay, a general strategy to decision makers 
on how to handle issues as they arise. This, uh, this is uh, accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to problems. I like to, to think of policies as a glow where national boundaries, 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 oceans, boundaries, oceans, mountain range, and other major future are easily identified. Okay, uh, Luis, identify, all right? Identify people. No es identify. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Thank you, thank you. And, and recuerde, montaña se puede decir mountain, okay? Mountain, que es más, más, más sencillo. Pero si nos queremos acercar un poco al, al acento norteamericano, sería mountain, 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 mountain ranges, okay? Pero se puede decir mountain, okay? No hay problema. No problem. All right. Thank you, Luis, for reading. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. All right. We're going to continue down here with what is a procedure. But let me ask, uh, let me ask you. Okay, let me see Carla Eugenia. Hello. Hello, teacher. What is what is a procedure? Um procedures comma as is uh provide provide with a clear and easy understand plan of action Re request no 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 i want i want you are reading i want your definition uh, so for, for you is a rules is a a rules um guías guías guide como como se dice guías como una guide. guía Guide, a guide. Guide and uh, operation. Operation diario, op operación diaria de la empresa. Sorry. Son como los, los, los procedimientos que nos guían para el funcionamiento diario de una empresa. Yes, but tell me in English, please. It's a guide. guide Así sería. Ah, yes, it's a guide. guide. A procedures, routine, and uh, business. All right. All right. All right. There you go. There you go. Very good. Thank you for, uh, for participating. Let's continue down here with what is a procedure. Look, what is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood, understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details, details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Guys, guys, is there a question? I mean, about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Highlighted. 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 Highlight. How do you say highlighted in Spanish, man? It's como resaltar. Yes. Okay. Resaltar. That's what it is. Listen. Son resaltados. That's what it is. Highlighted. Highlighted. Guys, what else? Teacher and um, three line well, well written. Un proceso bien escrito. 
well written. No es written, ¿ok? Se puede decir written, sí, se puede decir written, pero es written, written, written. Right? A well written. More questions, people? Guys, more questions? Costly. Excuse me? Costly. Costly, costoso. Ok. Dice, y previene... Sorry? Wondering. Wondering. Mm -hmm. Tenemos wondering here y cuál dijeron uh, costly, right? Costly es costoso, okay? Wondering es como andar, how can I say this? Caminando sin rumbo. That's wondering, yes. Okay. Por eso aquí dice acá, in order to prevent a person from getting lost, okay? Que se pierda o ande. Ah, ¿cómo sería la palabra en español? Wondering es como andar a la deriva. Vagabundear. I'm sorry? Vagabundear. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, something like that. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do that every day. <laughs> right? We do it every day. People, misunderstandings. Misunderstandings. Malos entendidos, okay? Malentendido o malos entendidos si es con ese. Right? This one is ultimate. Ultimate. Okay, not ultimate. Ultimate. Met. All right. Yes. Let me see what else. Uh, yeah, only those ones, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to read again. Volver a leer, pero esta vez un poco más lento. Okay. Para que escuchemos bien la pronunciación. What is a procedure? Sorry. All right. It says, what is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. Okay, yes, that's what it is. That's the procedure. Let me see, I need a person to read. Sara, can you help us read if you are available and if you are okay? Okay, teacher. All right, thanks. The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required required Re required Re required to carry out or implement a policy a well well written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings okay. by identifying identify, identify. identifying how responsibility and establishing boundaries establishing bonsai for the employees. Good procedure actually permit manager to control events in advance and prevent, prevent. the, prevent the organization, organization. 
organization and employees from making costly mistake. You can think of a pro procedure mm -hmm. as a road, road, road map where the trip, the times are the type details 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 are highlighted in order to prevent prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable 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 but identify mm -hmm. By the company's management team. Management. By the company's management team. That's what Management it is. team. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Sarah, for reading. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Remember, people, identify. Okay. Identify. Es la única forma de pronunciarlo. No hay ninguna otra, otra forma. No se puede decir identify. Okay. Aunque sí lo van a escuchar, pero identify suena mucho right. mejor. Okay. Identify. Yes. All right. Yes. Let's continue with another person. Thank you, Sarah, again for for reading. Nestle, are you available? Can you please read? Oh, Vladimir. Okay, Vladimir. Thank you. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay. Help us, please. What is the procedures? The ultimate goal of a very, every procedure is to provide a reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out to implement a uh, policies. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstanding minus, minus by identifying job responsibilities and establishing uh, boundaries for the employees. Good proced procedures actually permit management managers to control events in advance to prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think uh, of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details um, highlight in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of uh, an acceptable patch identified by the company's management team. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you, Emil, for reading. People, responsibilities and establishing. Okay, yes. Responsibilities and establishing. This one over here, no es control, okay? No es control. It's can, can, control, okay? Suena como que una E, control. Let's control, let's control, control, all right? Control events, okay, events. All right, very good, very good. Thank you guys for your participation. Now we're going to continue down here, all right? One, two, three, four, five. We got five sentences. Tenemos hasta cinco oraciones. Okay, en el espacio pondremos si es una política o si es un proceso, okay? If it is a policy or if it is a procedure, okay? Yes. Let's do this. All right. Uh, let's work individually. Trabajemos individualmente. I'm going to give you two minutes. Me daré dos minutos para que puedan hacer esto. Okay. Lean y luego eligen si es una, una política o un proceso de acuerdo a lo que leímos arriba. Okay. People, go ahead. Two minutes. Y luego leemos uno por uno, all right? Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's do, let's do this. We got the first one, we got the first one, and I need uh, Imelda, read the first one, please. Hello. Hi. Read, please. It's a connection between a company vision. Yes. Policy. Policy? Policy. Okay, I'm checking the answers. People, do you agree? Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, policy. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank yes, you. teacher. Thank policy. You for supporting me. All right. So the first one is policy, right? Number two. Uh, let me choose a person here. Tatiana. Carol, are you available? Number two. Yes, please. Thank you. It permits manager to control events in advance is procedure. 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 Okay. It permits managers to control events in advance. All right. Procedure. Okay. There you go. Guys, do you agree with Carol's answer? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, thank you. Cecilia, are you available? Can you help us read number three? Yes, teacher. Thank you. I can be compared to a trip map. Okay, what is it? I believe that proceed, proceed. Procedure? Okay, people, what do you think? Do you agree with, with, uh, with Cecilia's answer? Yes, sure. Okay, procedure, there you go, All right? Thank you, thank you. Oscar, are you available? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay, read number four, please. It can be compared to a globe where you find many things. What is it, policy or policy? It's policy. A policy? Yes. Guys, what do you think? Do you agree with Oscar's answer? Yes, policies. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. All right. This is compared. Compared, right? And the last one, Daisy. Um. Number five. When people go around this world, there are not. Miss mm -hmm. mis mis misunderstandings. 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 Yes. Yes. Okay, what is it? A policy or a procedure? What do you think? Hello? Okay, no. <laughs> People, what do you think? What is it? Procedures. Procedure. Procedure, teacher. 
a procedure. Procedures. Okay, there you go, procedure. Okay. We got the first one policy, the second one procedure, third one procedure, number four, it's a policy, and the last one is also a procedure. All right. Yes, we're gonna do that. Now we're going to continue and we are going to start with the review because today we're gonna review the topics uh, that we saw in, in, the, in the unit number four. All right, but before we do that, I'm going to share some things here with you. Yes, it is almost time. Ya casi es hora, okay? Compartiré con ustedes acá el, el, el link. Espérenme que lo voy a copiar y pegar. Y después que nos vamos a comenzar. Ok. Vamos, vamos. Les comparto en el chat de Zoom. Ahí está el link. Ok. Y es para la encuesta. Les compartiré toda, toda información por, por acá, por, por el chat de Zoom. Ok. Todo tipo de información que requeramos en la, en, que se requiera en la, en la encuesta, se las pondré acá en el chat de Zoom. Ok, yes. All right. Ok, we're going to start pretty soon. But before, before we start, I want to, I want to, well, I want to do this. We're going to review, all right. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Okay, here we go. People, do you see what I'm sharing? Pueden ver lo que comparto? Yes, teacher. Unit four review. Okay. Vamos a repasar unos cuantos temas. Okay. Bueno, vimos unos cuantos. Can you mention the topics, people? Hello. How do you should? Okay. Pongamos acá should. What else? Could, right? Say good. Could. If. When. Could. Also, we were, we were talking about when and if clauses. Okay. Guys, what else? Only that, right? Solo eso en the was, right? Only three, three topics. Only three topics. Um, oh. Idioms. No, but idioms is, is, is not from, the, from unit four. It's only that, only that cuatro. All right. Okay, we're going to be uh, reviewing these three topics. Okay, should, could, when, and if clauses. Let's start, or let me start with, the, with could. Okay, here. Good. People, do you remember the uses of could? ¿Se acuerdan cómo se usa could? People, hello. No, you don't remember? No recuerdan? Hello. Use the mother could to express possibility. Okay, to express possibility, what else? ¿Qué más expresamos con, con, con ese good? To express past abilities. Okay, to express past abilities. All right, let me put it over here. Okay, here, let me do this. So we express permission, right? Also, we got request. We got past abilities. Guys, what else do you remember? Conditions. Yeah, that, but that's, that's different. <laughs> What else? Suggestions. I'm sorry? Suggestions. Yes, yes, no, I says shoot. 
Yes, it's should. Okay, so could permission request past abilities, right? Yes. We also use it for past inabilities, right? Past inabilities, that's another one. Let me write it down. Inabilities. Okay, so, but we're going to continue after the survey is done. Okay, vamos a seguir luego, okay, con este repaso. Vamos a iniciar con la, con la encuesta en este momento. Les he compartido el link por el chat de Zoom. Volveré a hacer para que lo puedan, uh, bueno, lo puedan usar. Please, let me know. Me confirman, por favor, si estamos en la, en la, en la, en la encuesta. Yes, teacher. Yes, ok, very good. Fantastic, fantastic. Perfecto, beautiful. Okay. Yes. And also you have more information in, 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 in the chat that's why that. Ahora, vamos. Acá está. The first thing, el primero que vamos a colocar acá dice, ingrese el número, o oh, perdón. ¿Pueden ver la que comparto? Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Observen, dice, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Será proporcionado por el proveedor puede copiarlo y pegarlo, ¿ok? Es el que está en el chat, lo pueden copiar y pegar, ¿ok? Ahí está. Lo voy a colocar para que vean cuál es. Es este que está acá. ¿Ok? Esa es la orden de inicio. Coloquémosla a todos, por favor. No se me adelanten, ¿ok? Estémonos en la parte 1 solamente. Estémonos en la 1. No se me adelanten. Vayamos todos en la misma secuencia. ¿Terminamos esta parte, la parte 1? Ready. Yeah, teacher. Sí, yeah, teacher. Teacher. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Beautiful. Excelente. Vamos a la parte 2. Dice nombre completo. Ustedes ponen su nombre completo. Okay. Un, segundo, un, segundo, un segundo, teacher. No sé ahí en el teléfono. Yo no, porque en el teléfono lo voy a hacer yo. Ya me metí a la página. Dígame, ajá. Ajá, pero no puedo copiar la orden de dice. Pues eh, hágala, no sé, está en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Sí, en el teléfono. Ya mejor me voy a pasar a la compu, quizás para hacer. A la, a la compu. Quizás me voy a pasar a la compu para hacerlo. Alguien lo puede hacer por, por, por WhatsApp, por favor. En el WhatsApp está el, 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 el labor de inicio también, lo puede copiar y pegar. El, 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 sí, no, pero, pero, pero cuando le doy la opción ahí en WhatsApp, no, 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 no me hace copia. Ok, está bien. Compañero, lo que puede hacer también es eh, meterse a su correo, uh -huh. abrir ah, la correcto. encuesta y copiar. Correcto, y correcto. Copiar correcto. y luego pegar. Ya los demás pasos son como más fáciles. Exacto. Solo para copiar el, 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 el número es más fácil del correo. Ok, me voy a ir, me voy a ir al correo. Entonces, muchas gracias. Okay. Muy bien. Bueno. Muy bien. Iremos un poco en eso, Eduardo, para, esperar, para esperarlo. Ok. Yes. Okay. Ok, nombre completo todos. Acá está. Ok, luego ponemos el correo electrónico que fue el que uh, dimos a inglés corporativo. Okay. Ponemos el correo acá. Ok. Ya voy, ya voy. I'm just giving you an example. Ok, ese es solo un ejemplo que estoy probando. Vamos a la parte 4. Dice el número de celular o número celular. Lo colocamos acá. Puede un número al azar, ok. Uy, sorry. Verifique que todo esté bien, ok. Que todos los nombres esté bien, que todo el esté bien y todo esté bien. Que no haya ningún error. ¿Todos estamos en la parte 4? Ya está hecho. Yes. Eduardo, ¿cómo estamos? No le escuchamos. Tiene apagado su micrófono. Mal, pero ahorita lo voy a hacer. Ahorita lo voy a hacer. Voy a conectar aquí en la compu. Ok, está bien. Sí. Como digo, ir, iremos lento. Ok. Parte 5, elegimos acá el género. Ok. Yes.
Ahora, parte número 6 dice departamento de residencia. Elegimos acá nuestro departamento. En mi caso sería Usulután. Beautiful. Hermoso. All right. Luego ponemos acá en la parte número 7. ¿Cómo está la parte 7? ¿Sí? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Acá ponemos el municipio de residencia. Okay? En mi caso sería Santa María. That's it, all right? That's, that's, that's the municipio, ¿ok? ¿Sí? ¿Terminamos toda la parte 7? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Very good, very good. Seguimos con la parte número 8 y dice empresa donde trabaja, ¿ok? Acá no pondremos el nombre de la compañía, sino que pondremos la razón social, ¿ok? Yes. Eso haríamos. Si no saben cómo es, o, o, o bueno, no saben, yo les digo cuál es. Así que me preguntan por si no saben cuál es. O todos sabemos que la, la fuente social, ¿yes? ¿Todos la sabemos? ¿People? Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Ahora seguimos entonces con la parte número... Esperen, perdón, aquí, aquí lo voy a compartir otra vez. Muy bien, la parte 8 sería la razón social, ¿ok? Como aparece en el Ministerio de Hacienda. Ahora, parte 8 dice el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Buscamos acá, le damos clic a la flechita y nos aparecerán diferentes instituciones, ¿ok? Y buscamos la, donde diga Regal International. Bueno, dice inglés corporativo, ese que está acá. Dice inglés corporativo, Regal International, SASB. Y le damos a ese, ¿ok? Ese sería. Yes. Eduardo, ¿cómo estamos? People, ¿estamos todos en la nueve? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Luego ponemos acá el nombre del curso. El cual sería, people... Inglés principiante. Inglés principiante. Uh -huh. Modelo 5. Pero ahí también está en el chat que nos enviaron. Yes, exactly. Thank you, thank you for that. For letting me know. Yes. That is true. That is true. Ahí está en el chat. Inglés principiante, módulo 5. Ok. Bueno, ahí parece mayúscula. Lo puse en minúscula. Perdón. Okay, ahí está. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. Estamos todos ya con la parte número 10. Eduardo. No la escuchamos. <laughs> sí, 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 voy, 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 voy. Ok, está bien, está bien. Ok, parte número 11 dice, valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Ok, le damos acá la, la, las, los ítems y luego le damos las opciones y ustedes eligen las que ustedes busquen. Ok, o las que ustedes uh, piensen que es la que debería ser. All right. Your decision there. Mm -hmm. Please confirm that you finish this part. Ok. Let me know. Me avisa cuando cumplen esta parte, la parte 11. ¿Hicimos la parte 11 todos? Yes, finished. Yes, teacher. Yes? Ok, yes. muy bien, muy bien. Ahora seguimos con la número 12. Dice, ¿en qué fecha inició el curso? Ok. Si vamos al chat, encontramos la fecha en ese... En ese en este lugar, el cual es la fecha 31 de octubre de este año. Ok. Buscamos acá en este cuadrito. Ok. Vamos acá el de octubre y ponemos acá el 31, que fue el día lunes. Ok. Ahí está. All right. Ahora, seguimos con la parte número 13. Ok. 
que es cuando el curso termina, que es este día, ¿ok? 29 de noviembre. Okay, ahí está. Iniciamos el 31 de octubre y concluimos el día de ahora, 29 de noviembre, ¿ok? Ahora, número 14 dice, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de comenzar el curso? Dice satisfecho y dice insatisfecho. Ustedes elijan, ¿ok? Eduardo, ¿por qué número va, Eduardo? No, no, yo estoy bien, yo estoy bien. Al final le voy a repetir para que usted me corrobore ahí si, si es algún error. Ok, entonces sí, no hay problema. Aunque no, no le debe enviar, ok, no le debe enviar todavía. Después le debe enviar, después de corroborar. No, 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 todavía no le debe enviar. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Y por el número 15 dice, mencione qué cursos, qué otros cursos, perdón, son de su interés. Esa parte es opcional. Si usted quiere poner un curso que usted le guste, que estaría a estudiar, pues lo coloca en ese cuadrito que está acá. Ok. Yes. Ahora, número 16, dice comentarios. Esa parte también es opcional. Ok, usted póngala ahí. Mauricio, no, jamás póngalo como maestro. No, ya no, ya no. no queremos ese maestro. Right. No problem. It's good. Ok. Y luego, people, escuchemos. Aún no le den enviar, ok. Vamos a revisar que todo esté bien. Corroboren que todo esté bien. Ok. Eh, eh, se lo voy a editar yo, profe, lo que tengo. Ok, está bien, está bien, no hay problema. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Eh, ingresa el número completo de orden, que es el 28637-7810-0047-2022. Yes, yes. Nombre completo, mi nombre es Eduardo Franco Núñez, correo electrónico, mi correo electrónico que, con el que estoy inscrito, mi número de teléfono, sexo masculino, departamento de residencia, municipio de residencia de Chalatenango, empresa en la que trabajo, que es la alcaldía, nombre del proveedor al que se capacitó, inglés cor corporativo Regal International y después nombre del curso inglés principiante módulo número 5 después mi valor en los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso ya, ya lo clasifiqué excelente todo eh, en qué fecha inició el curso 31 del 10 del 2022 y finalicé este día 29 del 11 del 2022 cuál es, cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso satisfecho Mencioné el curso de su interés, ya lo, ya lo mencioné, los comentarios, excelente maestro, ya. ¿Bien? Yes, yes. Vamos okay. al chat, por algo, al poder algo en el chat. Ok, ok. ¿Te voy a enviar? No, wait, 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 permítame, aún no. Ok. Sí, esa es, esa es la orden de inicio. No, no, pues, sí, está bien, ahí si no me equivoqué. Okay, no, vamos a ver, vamos en el chat. Eduardo, sí, está bien. Bien, bien, bien. bien. Muy importante lo que, lo que les cuento aquí ahí, muy importante. Ok. Sí, sí. Yes. Solo para que se den cuenta de cómo sería en ese caso, ok. Yes. Ok, ahora, ¿qué puso en la parte de la compañía, la, la empresa? Eduardo, que puse en la empresa, no, 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 no le escuché en la empresa, que es lo que había puesto, que había colocado. Eh, nombre de la empresa. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok, nombre, de, nombre del proveedor. Uh -huh. Inglés corporativo. No, no, de la empresa, de, de, de trabajo usted. Ah, alcaldía municipal de Chalatena. Okay. Esa es mi empresa. Sí, sí. Ok, muy bien. Ahora, le damos todos a enviar y nos va a, nos llevará a otra ventana. Nos aparecerá. Gracias por, por... No, no, no recuerdo cómo dice. Entonces, vamos a leer. Teacher, a, a mí. Teacher. Perdón. Sí, dígame. A mí me falta la casilla 10. La, número 10 sería la... No, el día principiante módulo 5. Así póngale. El día principiante módulo 5. Acá está, mire. Aquí le muestro. ¿Lo puede ver? Eh, sí, sí, sí. Okay. Inglés sí. principiante número 5. Módulo 5, módulo 5. 
Después de enviarlo, ok, le aparecerá una ventana donde dice gracias. Tomémosle captura a esa, a esa parte y mandamos la, la captura al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre incluido de una sola vez en la captura. Me refiero como uh, pie de página, ok. No en la imagen, sino que como pie de página. Así como lo envió Eduardo. Bueno, era también todos los casos. Okay. Thank you, thank you, people. Muy bien, muy bien. Los que hagan falta, por favor, le envíen. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Give me a second. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi, I'm sorry. Había tenido problemas para ingresar, no me reconocí el correo. Ok, uh, hagamos la encuesta, eh, Gerardo. Ok, sí. ¿dónde, dónde? La, el enlace que nos mandaron. Sí, sí. Yo ok, ayudo, ok. Le ayudaré por, por el medio de chat, ok. Ok, ok. Nos comunicamos. All right. People, creo que todos le hemos enviado, ¿verdad? Todos le hemos enviado. Tengo un segundo. All right, let's continue, people. Thank you very much for uh, completing the platform. All right, let's continue here. Sorry. Let me show you here. We were here, right? I was telling you that we use CUD, que usamos CUD for permission, request, possibilities, and inabilities, okay? Le mostraré acá, observen. Look at this. I'm going to show you the affirmative form. Okay, I'm gonna show you the negative. And I'm gonna show you the questions. Okay, now, for example, people, what I want to see, I should, for three hours. For three hours consecutively, right? Yes, okay. Dice, yo podía, yo podía caminar por tres horas consecutivamente. Okay, es una habilidad pasada, right? A past ability. Ahora cuando andamos en carro o en moto, estamos bien gordos, bien panzones. So, <laughs> right people, it is true, right? True. All right. So it says, I could walk for three hours consecutively. Okay, negativo sería, I could not. Okay, también podríamos usar couldn't, que es el, el contractado de, de could not. Walk for three hours consecutively. There you go. Okay. I think I'm, I'm misspelling the word. People, can you please confirm that, that this is correct? Pueden verificar si está bien escrito esa, esa palabra? Consecutively? Tengo dudas. I'm, I'm having doubts about it. Se, se escribe así. Okay. Questions will be, question will be, could you walk for three hours consecutively? Okay. Yes. Observen, así es como se usa el could en afirmativo, negativo y en preguntas. I could walk for three hours consecutively. I could not walk for three hours consecutively. And the last one, could you walk for three hours consecutively? All right, that's how it is. Yes. People, is the word correct? Yes, teacher. That yes. is correct. All right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Pensé que no estaba bien. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Y así es como usamos good. But I need some examples, okay? 
Recuerden que could significa podía o podría, ¿ok? Podía o podría, right? Guys, can you give me an example? Alguien? Guys, hello. Teacher. Hello, uh -huh. I, I could sleep for eight hours. Okay, I could sleep for eight hours. But it's not when I was a child, no. Hoy solo dormimos una una cuatro horas, right? Four, uh, yes. Four, yes, exactly. De hecho, ayer me costó la bueno. Hoy, este día me costé a tres de la mañana. Tres y media ya cuando me dormí. Tres y media. Y me falta a las seis. Beautiful. Ok, Luis, give us an example, please. Luis, hello. Hi, yes. Um, example with could, please. I I could, I could not drive the car. Okay. I could not drive a car. Or a car. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. We're good. We're good there. Thank you. Thank you for the example. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carlos Guerra. Um, I could. Uh, make pizza. Okay, I could make pizza <laughs> now. Nah. All right. Now, no, you cannot do that, right? <laughs> Very good. Let's continue, people, here. Let me stop sharing. Okay. And we're going to go to the book. In the book, we're going to find this. It says, it says, fill in the, the space in each sentence using either could I or could you, okay? Dice que tenemos los espacios usar, en cada oración usando ya sea could I or could you, okay? People, I'm going to give you five minutes, okay? Five minutes, completemos, okay? Let's do this individually, all right? Give me a second here. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Hello? Uh, could you help um, uh, I know. Podría ayudarme eh, luego con una de la del meter. Yes, yes, of course. Eh, de la parte tres. Yes, yes, of course. I can help you. No problem. Ok. Yes. Se puede quedar después de, de la clase. Se queda, no hay problema. Ok. Ok, ok. Gracias. Hi, I'm back. Thank you, Jose, for, for sending the screenshot. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for doing that, too. I'm just checking the group right now to see if everybody sent it. Okay, yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you for doing that. Yes, for sending and sharing the, the information.
para los que no estaban antes, ese día es el último día para completar la plataforma. Entonces, bueno, ustedes vieron en el grupo que mandaron un mensaje con nombres específicos. Ok, así que, people, please, por favor, concluimos ese día con la plataforma. Ok, yes. If you need help, let me know. People, did you finish? Guys, did you finish? Yes. Yes. What about the rest? What about the rest? Did you guys finish? Yes, teacher. Finish. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, let's just start reading the first one. Number one, it's, uh, well, a volunteer, please. Me teacher. Go ahead. Yes, of course. Cool. Close your window, please. It's very cool in here. Mm. Seria. People. Cool. What do you think? Cool. Cool. You. Seria. Could I? Could I close your window, please? It's very cold in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's the first one. Es la número uno. Okay. Second, the second one, number two. Anybody? Me, Who are you? Who is you? Okay. Could you, right? That's what it is. Could you? Open the door. Could you? Could you open the door for me, please? I am carrying all these books. I am carrying all these books. Okay, yes. That's what it is. Number three. Anybody? Alguien que le número tres? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Thanks. And I didn't understand what you said to me. Said? Could you, you said to me. Could you repeat, please? Could you repeat it, please? Okay. I didn't understand what you said to me. Could you repeat it, please? Yes, could you. All right, could you repeat it, please? Number four, anybody? Guys, number four. Hey, teacher, Emerson. Yes. Excuse me, your music is on very low. Could you turn it down a little? Yes. Okay. Excuse me, your music is, is your music on is very loud. Could you turn it down a little? Could you? Okay. It's a there. Could you turn it down? Turn it down significa bajar el volume. Okay. Yes. Right. Now number five. Anybody? Number five. No, oh, okay, specific, cutting, number five. Oh. Maybe I don't get my money. Child, mm -hmm. child, oh, next Deal. week. Deal. Deal. <laughs> next week, mm -hmm. a cool. Will you lend me twenty till them? Twenty dollars. Okay, twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Could you lend me five uh, twenty dollars till then? Okay, here significa hasta. Okay, hasta. That's what it is. Es lo mismo que until. Uh, 
Ahí está enganchada, ¿ok? Until and till es lo mismo. Number six. Number six. Sara, read number six, please. The secretary is in here. Could leave a message for her, please? No, six, number six. Okay, but Lila no es más, Sara. No es cierto. It's okay, number seven. Okay. Repeat. The secretary is in here. Uh, could leave a message for her, please? Otra persona. Hello. Hello. Cool. No es solo cool. ¿Cuál es la persona? Uh, could you? Okay. Um. There you go. Could you leave a message for her, please? Or could I? Could I? Could I? Okay. Yes. It's could I. I'm going to do a lot of annotate here. I want to move this. And yeah, good eye. So good eye, okay? Good eye, leave a message for her. Okay. And what about number six, people? Numero seis. Can you help me? Um, please. please, could I borrow your car until tomorrow as my is being repaired. Repaired. All right. Please, uh, can I can I borrow your car until tomorrow as mine is being repaired? Repaired. Okay. Is it significa borrow, people? Prestar. No. Significa pedir prestado. Pedir prestado. Yes. Por eso usamos el, por eso usamos good eye en este caso, ¿ok? Para decir podría, podría pedirte prestado, o sea, pedirte your, your car, ¿ok? Yes. Entonces borrow literalmente significa pedir prestado, ¿ok? Y si decimos could you eso no se puede, ¿ok? Could you, could you borrow? No, no eso no es, no, no. es como podrías pedirme prestado, ¿no? No suena bien. Ok, sería could I. Podría pedirte prestado. Could I borrow your, your motorcycle, your cell phone, ok? Anything, all right? Yes. Anything, anything. All right, now. Guys, do you have any questions here? In this part, number one. No. No questions? Ok. Let's go back. Let's go back to the white pool here. Okay, to the whiteboard. And now we're gonna see how we use should. Okay, people, ¿qué significa should en español? ¿Saben qué significa? ¿Recuerdan qué significa en español? Deberías. Yes, should significa deberías. Okay, acá está. Estamos escribiendo should. Pero no me gusta porque no tiene el color que tenía antes. Okay, should. We use should in different situations, okay? Este que está acá es mucho más sencillo que could, okay? Porque se usa en momentos más, más fáciles. Okay, people, can you please mention? Guys, can you mention what we use that one for? Suggestions. Okay, suggestions. Advice. Okay, uh -huh. suggestions, advice. Advice, what else? And let's say recommendations, only those three. Okay, suggestions, advice, and recommendations. Okay, those are the uses of the uses of should, ok? Así como se usa should para sugerencias, para consejos y para recomendaciones, ok? Consejo en general para cualquier situación 
sugerencias más que todas para compañías, ¿ok? Y recomendaciones es como para películas, series, música, arte, etc. ¿Ok? Yes. I will show you the affirmative, negative, and questions. Okay. For example, affirmative. Affirmative. And questions. Okay. All right, now. Let's say, mm -hmm. Christian should, <clears throat> let me see, should, uh, Okay, I see. Christian should deliver the orders on time. Okay, Christian should deliver the orders on time. The negative form can be or is Christian should, people should not. Okay, oh, podemos usar la forma contractada, which is shouldn't, shouldn't, all right? Christian should not or shouldn't deliver the orders late, okay? Yes. And the question would be, should, should Christian deliver the orders on time? Okay, so that's how, that's how we use should, okay? Así como se usa should. Se usa para sugerencias, consejos y recomendaciones. Y lo que está acá abajo, ¿qué es, people? What is it? Recommendation? Advice or suggestion? What we have here? Con Christian, ¿qué es ese ejemplo, people? Hello? Anybody? ¿Alguien? Recommendation. Recommendation. Ok, probably recommendation, probably advice and suggestion. Ok, yes, that's what it is. Now, we're going to stop sharing here. You know, I'm going to ask you for examples. Let me see, I'm going to ask people randomly. Carol, give me an example, please. I'm sure should, sleep more. I should. I should sleep more. <laughs> yes, of course. Me too, <laughs> I should sleep more, I should sleep more. Como les comenté, me dormí a las tres ahora, tres y media eran. Y de partir a las seis. Yes. With, with full energy, people. Full energy. Yes. Okay. Bernardo, hello. Hello. Teacher. Example, please. Negative. E negativo. You shouldn't sleep so late. No. Es que, mire. Le, 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 explico, le explico. May me dijo una vez. Me dijo. Tienes que dormir temprano. Y las tres es temprano, ¿sí o no? Right people, right people, right people. <laughs> yes, technically, technically speaking, I'm right. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ronaldo, for the example. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's continue down here with Nathalie. Hello. Hello. Ask me a question, please. Uh, shouldn't you take a a rest? Yes, I should. Thank you, Nathalie. Okay. okay, hoy descanso, no se preocupen, hoy descanso. Pero hoy a la cosa. All right. Now we're going to stop here. I'm going to stop sharing. And I want to go to the Hi. And in the book we got, we got, well, number two. La parte dos, tenemos, it says, Fill in the blanks or the spaces in each sentence using either should or shouldn't. Okay. Dice, y dan los espacios en cada oración usando ya sea should or should not. Okay, people, let's work on this. I'm going to give you five minutes. 
Okay, five minutes, let's work individually. Okay, yes. If you have any questions about the vocabulary, please let me know, I am here. Finish. All right, all right. Excellent, excellent. People, let me know, please. Finish, teacher. Thank you. Finish the chat. Okay, thank you. People, we're going to check. Come on, Regisar, okay? Let me choose people randomly. Right Vamos a elegir. Cecilia, read number one, please. Cecilia, hello. Hello, teacher. Number one, please. You, you should call your boss if you are coming late to work. Okay, you should. All right, all right. People, do you agree? Yes, teacher. Okay, you should call your boss if you are coming late to work. Yes. The second one, uh, Vladimir, read the second one. No, nope. okay. Jansi, are you there? Yes. 
Sara. Mm -hmm. um, no? You should spend too much time uh, on the internet. Okay, you shouldn't. You shouldn't spend too much time on the internet, right? Yes, you shouldn't spend too much time on the internet. Number three. Uh, let me see. Oscar, number three, please. Okay, teacher. You should work over time if there is too much to do at the workplace. Okay. You should work over time if there's too much work or there's too much to do at the workplace. Okay, so he should, right? Number three, Carlos Alberto Castro. Number four. No, okay, Karen, read number four, please. Karen, hello. You should make use of, no, you shouldn't make use of narcotics in any facility of your workplace. Okay, it's you should not or you shouldn't. You shouldn't make use of narcotics in any facility in your of your workplace. I'm sorry. Okay, number five. Uh, let me see, Carla. Read number five, please. And I, you shouldn't shouldn't wear casual clothes clothes when there is a supervision in your company. Okay. All right. All right. It says you shouldn't. You shouldn't wear casual clothes when there's a supervision in your company. Okay, thank you, thank you. Number five, uh, Carol, can you read number six, sorry, number six. Yeah, you should report computer problems and the tech support department. Okay, tech, tech. Tech. Okay. You should you should report computer problems at the tech support department. Number seven, Ulises. Number seven. Okay. You should take someone else calls. You should or you shouldn't. Mm. You should. Guys, do you agree with Ulises' yeah. answer? No, we yeah. shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't take someone else's calls, okay? No deberías tomar la llamada de alguien más. All right? Yes. Or should, si te, si te gusta usted. <laughs> no problem. Yes. No problem. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. People, do you have any questions? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, let me stop sharing here. Thank you for helping me solve that exam or that data activity. We're going to continue here. I'm going to review with you, of course. Okay. Uh, how to use, how to use when and if, how to use when and if clauses. Okay. Yes. Okay, recordemos que este when y este if se usa para unir dos oraciones, okay, que pueda que sean similar o no muy similar, pero conectándolos podemos hacer una buena mezcla. Okay, that's how it is. Give me a second. Acá les voy a... Okay, ahora veamos. Explanation will be this one. We use when or Okay, look, dice usamos when 
usamos la cláusula de when or if para conectar, dice, dos ideas. Dice esto. Para conectar dos ideas a fin de crear solamente una oración. ¿Ok? Así sería. Yo se mira. ¿Se ve bien? ¿De este lado se ve bien? Sí, sí. Ya no lo veo, no, me veo, veo, se ve todo borroso. Son mis ojos, quizás. <laughs> All right. I'm getting, I'm getting blind. All right. Let's continue. For example, look at this. I like, look, I like chocolate. Yes. I like chocolates. Yes. Okay, look, the chocolate is white. Okay, the chocolate is white. Okay. Tenemos dos oraciones, dice, me gusta el chocolate, y la siguiente es, el chocolate es blanco. Ahora, usamos el when o el if para unir esas dos oraciones, okay, y crear solamente una oración. Quedaría de esta forma. Sería when the chocolate is white, comma, I like, excuse me. Ok. O sea, voy a poner I like it. Ok. I like it. Ahora sí, sabe. Okay. When the chocolate is white, I like it. Dice, cuando el chocolate es blanco, me gusta. Okay. Sí. O puede ser al revés. Tipo, I like when it is white. Okay. Sí, así como está acá. Yes, people. Fácil, ¿verdad? Easy. También podríamos usar if. Ok, en vez de when en ese caso, podríamos usar if. Ok. Yes. If the chocolate is white, I like it. Or I like the chocolate if it is white. If it is white. Ok. Noten que... Something very important here es la puntuación. Si el if o el when van al inicio de la oración, okay, separamos la primera oración con la segunda con una coma, así como está acá. Ahora, si when o if están en medio de la oración, entonces no hay ninguna puntuación más que el punto final. Okay, en ambas oraciones okay. Entonces, no es más. Si if y when están al principio de la oración, separamos ambas oraciones con una coma, okay, así como está acá. Ahora, si el if y el when están en medio, entonces no hay ninguna puntuación, solo el punto final. ¿Ok? ¿People? Yes. Ok, look, I, let's see, my mother, my mother prepares Ok, look, Okay, observen. Acá tenemos dos oraciones. My mother prepares lobsters and my relatives visit us. Okay, people, what is lobsters? Lobsters? Langostas. Langostas. Right. Dice, mamá prepara langostas. Esa es una oración. La otra oración dice, mi familia me visita o nos visita. Mi familia nos visita. Yes. Entonces, con el when o con el if podemos unir esas dos oraciones para crear solamente una. Okay. So, it will be like this. If my relatives visit us, comma, 
My mother prepares lobster. Okay? Yes? Si mis parientes lo visitan, dicen, mamá prepara langos. Yes? Beautiful, right? Or I can say, my mother prepares lobster if my relatives or relatives visit us. Okay? Entonces, una vez más, la coma solo existe si va el if o el when al principio. Aquí tenemos if, ok, coma. Si sí podríamos cambiar when acá, podemos poner when en vez de if, of course, si se puede. Y aquí ponemos también when abajo. Ok, yes. People, questions, people. Preguntas. People, questions? No? We're good? We're good. Okay, let's stop sharing here. All right, veamos entonces. Uh, let's provide examples. We're gonna start with Neftali. Yeah. Example, please, Nathalie. Mm, if you were if you were the president, I will do everything. You will do everything. I don't know if correct. Repeat, please. If you were the president, uh, you will do what? I don't know if no. correct. No. No. I started saying no. If you if you were. Si yo fuera, eso es condicional, no, no es lo que estamos viendo hoy. Eso es aparte, un tema aparte. Eso ah, es okay. condicional. Ah, Sería okay. en presente, ambas en presente, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Unidas con when o y. Mm, I have no picture. Uh -huh. uh, if I like pupusas, I, I, will eat, uh, uh, I, I will eat a lot. I don't know. No, no. No hay futuro. Ambas van en presente. Si usa will, es futuro. Quítele el will, quítele will y repite lo mismo. Ok. If I, if I, if I eat pupusas, I eat a lot. No. I eat, no, no, no. But, but, but how, how can I complete it? How can I complete? Compro, porque repitió comer dos veces. En vez de comer, diga comprar. If I, if I. Ah, ah I both. I, I buy, mm -hmm. for example. Yes, if I, if I eat pupusas, I buy. Okay. If I eat pupusas, I buy. Yes, that's what it is. All right. Pretty simple. Uh, let me see, Eduardo. Eduardo, hello. Sleeping. <laughs> He's sleeping. Joanna, he says, he's best. He says, he's best. Joana, hello. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Uh -huh. No problem. Está durmiendo. <laughs> no. Okay. I am working. <laughs> Give us an example, please. Thanks. Example with. With when or if. Um. When. Yes. I'm a teacher. If I if I go to travel. If I travel. Uh, if what? If I travel. Ah, uh, if I travel. Mm -hmm. I need um buy. I need to uh, buy. I need to buy the you say is it tickets or vuelos. A ticket, yes. A ticket. Flight. A ticket flight. A ticket buy. Flight ticket, sorry. All right. Yes. 
Joanna, thank you for your example. Good. Uh, Sarah, can you give us an example? If I watch the movie, um, if with my mom mm -hmm. in my house, mm -hmm. yes, I, I don't know, teacher. So, digo, if I watch a movie. What, mm -hmm. repeat it, please. If I watch mm -hmm. the movie, mm -hmm. if with my mom, no, ya dijo if antes. Okay. If I watch mm, the movie mm -hmm. with my mom in my house. Okay. Es una oración, es la oración del if. Pasa la otra, coma. Um, ¿Cómo puedo decir que sería una película de terror? Horror movie. Horror movie. Mm -hmm. Horror movie. Horror movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With my mom, okay. Um, if I watch the movie mm -hmm. with my mom in my house, the movie is horror movie. No, it has to be, digamos, it has to be. It has to be a horror movie horror movie yes okay recuerda son dos oraciones si va con el if es si sí. de una otra la, 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 el resultado de la condición okay. okay let's continue here with carlos ernesto hello Richard. yes you what give me one example Um, sorry. Mm -hmm. With when and if, right? Yes, of course. Mm. I I buy junk food when I don't want to cook. Repeat, please. I jump. I buy jump food when I don't want to cook. Okay. All right. That's fine. Thank you, uh, Carlos, for the example. Tatiana. Hi, teacher. Try, please. If I eat spicy, spicy. Food. I drink a lot of spicy food. Spicy. Yes. If I eat spicy food. I drink a lot of water. Yes, perfect. I drink a lot of water. Thank you for the example. Let me continue down here with Karen. Yes, teacher. Can you give us an example with when or if? Okay, I think I will no longer eat pizza if I want to lose weight. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Excellent, thank you Karen for your example. Uh, Cecilia, are you there? Yes, no. Okay, Carla Eugenia. Yes, teacher. Hello, hello. Can you give us an The I go I no I go to work when yes. my family sleep. Okay, I go to work when my family sleeps. All right, all right. Uh, Xiomara, give us an example, please. Yeah. It's my sister work as secretary 
when my mom sleeps in the last afternoon. Repeat, please. If my sister were as secretary, when my mom sleeps in the afternoon. No, solo se usa uno, se usa when or if, solo uno, no se usa los, los dos. Cualquiera de los dos, cualquiera de los dos entonces. Sería. If my sister were a secretary, if my mom is lit in the afternoon. No, solo se usa uno. Uno en toda la oración. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Entonces me quedaría así. Eh, my sister wore as a secretary. My mom is in the duster. Mm -hmm. Sin el, solo va un if o solo un when. Okay. Let's continue here with somebody else. Uh, Bernardo, please, give us an example. Hey, teacher. When I want to get early to my job, I use the bicycle. Really? Yes, really. Oh, yeah, really, really? Yeah, really. Do you work far? Uh, like three kilometers. Okay, it's a circle first. <laughs> it is close. <laughs> All right. Más en especial, vuela en bicicleta. All right, good, good. Excellent. I, I, I get to my job in uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, pues sí, vuela. Le he puesto, le he puesto un, un nitrógeno. <laughs> right. Very good, very good. People, there's one more exercise in the book. Okay, but this one is easy. Okay, just three examples. It says, Join, join is unir, okay, juntar, unir o juntar, conectar. Join the clauses using if or when, use the correct punctuation. Okay, people, unamos las oraciones que están acá, con when o con if. Go ahead. I will give you three minutes. Esa fácil es. People, let me know, please. Finish teacher. Okay, okay, yes, yes. Easy, right? I told you. 
Okay. I think we have, we finished, right? Let me, I'm going to write them down. People, please tell me the first one. Guys, what is the first one? I call my boss when I get out, get, get late to work. Okay, repeat it, please. Okay, I call my boss. When you get a light, get light to work. Okay, people, do you agree? Estamos todos de acuerdo? Yes. Yes, teacher. Right. Yeah. And there's no there's no punctuation. Okay, the the punctuation is not necessary here. Y no se requiere una coma. Okay. Y no casi va como está ahí. Very good. The second one, people, mention the second one, please. Hello. When I need a day off, I request it with HR. When I need a day off, comma, I request it with HR, HR human resources, okay? Human resources. And the last one, number three, just there's too much work to do. Tell me people. Uh, me teacher. Sorry? I work extra hours if, uh, if there is too much work to do. I work extra hours when there's much to yeah, work extra hours when there's too much to do. Okay, yes, and that's it. All right. Okay, people, we have finished the book and the module. Uh, thank you for your help here. Okay, let me take attendance. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. No, okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. I am here, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Thank you for being here. Cecilia Yasmin Mejibar Soto. Present. Hello. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Present, teacher. Thank hello, you. Hello. Hello, Daisy. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present teacher. Francisco Sanchez Lopez. Present teacher. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Uh, Joana Lisbeth Eunice. Present teacher. Jose Alexander Carvajal. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Uh, Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Carol Elizabeth Escalante. Present teacher. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Eftali Humberto Ramirez Ramos. Present. Oscar Noé, hello, Oscar Noé Magaña. Present teacher. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Yes. Jancy Olivares Raimundo. Carla Eugenia Hernández. Present teacher. Present teacher. Hello, hello, people. Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present teacher. And Karen Janet. People. If you have any questions, yes, hello. If you have any questions about the platform, you can stay. Se pueden quedar, okay? Si tienen dudas o algún ejercicio de la plataforma, se pueden quedar, okay? What happened, Luis? 
Teacher, no sé si me escuchó el present, es que se me trabó el teléfono. Yes, yes. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher, por, yes, todo, yes. por todo el módulo. Ok, yes, yes, of course. People, thank you very much. Ok, it has been an honor. Ha sido un honor, ok. Yes. Salud. Gracias por todo. Gracias, teacher. Por todo, teacher. Nos vemos pronto, ok. Gracias bye, por bye. Bye. Cuídense mucho. Bye, bye. See you, see you in the future, okay? Take care. Cuídense mucho. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Everybody. Teacher, ahí en WhatsApp le envié la que no me sale de ninguna forma. Ya traté de todas las maneras. Yeah. En el meter, en la parte 3. Okay. Solo es una. Me la envió a WhatsApp, pero ¿cuándo? ¿Cuándo me la envió? Ahorita. Ahorita. Me la vamos a mandar. Me la vamos a mandar. Ahí Thanks. en WhatsApp del, del grupo de. Cuídense mucho, ¿ok? Igual. Nos vemos en el futuro. Eh, voy a ver, voy a abrir, abrir acá. Vamos a abrir aquí. Para ver qué parte es la que, la que se ha confundido. Bueno, no entiende. Igual Mitre, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Part 3. The second. Yes, wait. Dice que no me ha registrado la verdad. Ahí está. Digo, ¿cuál parte? La. Part 3. Eh, number second. Pero sé que no me deja entrar a la plataforma en este momento. Parte 3 dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Number 2. Eh, Aquí Acá está. Bueno, esta parte es súper es, 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 es fácil. Okay. La 2 dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. There. Aquí sería there is. No, es, es que todas las tengo bien. Es la única que me hace falta. La, la de there is one office. Lo que pasa es que ese, ese, incluso esa oración aparece antes en, en, pero no, pero no me da, me da error. Solo podría, creo que solo Office podría. Solo Office podría ahí. Es complicado. Ah, ay, qué cosa. Y yo intenté todo, todo podía hacer. Y solo Office ponía. Ah, ok. Ah, pues ahí está el, el, el detalle. Ay, yes, yes. Sí. No problema, ok. Cuídense mucho, Tatiana. Oh, thank you, teacher. Gracias por la paciencia. No problem, okay. Okay. Gracias, feliz noche. Entonces, teacher, es la única que me faltaba. Ok, está bien, está bien el problema. Okay. 100%. All right. Thank you, teacher. Yes. See you later. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Cecilia, do you have any questions?
No, teacher, este, yo mañana voy a enviar lo de la última, las últimas tareas porque he tenido problemas con mi computadora y ahora sí no pude trabajar en eso. Ok, está bien, no hay problema. Recuerde que sería a más tardar 8 de la mañana. Bueno, okay. bueno, teacher. Ok, que descanse, Cecilia. Cuídense mucho, gracias. ok. Feliz noche, gracias. Bye, good night, take care.